Hey Kent, what are we about to do? Sad dude. What? What are we about to do? So we going to, we head into the gym right now. So follow me. Yeah, what, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do with the gym today? Oh, oh get, get the camera. Hey, let me hold. What are we gonna do? Okay, okay, you can hold it. So we we finna do. We finna do legs today. Probably get some squats in. Yo, you gonna walk with me? What? <laughs> Look both ways before you cross the street. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we gotta hurry up. Let's shut that off for now. Why? This is fun. Now we gotta run. We're no, we don't. Now we gotta run. Oh, man, Let's no. Go <laughs> All right. So, hello, everyone. Um... So, Kent and I got to the gym pretty late the other day, so we tried to get a bunch of stuff in really fast, so you can see this pretty high volume work. So I went 135 front squat, 135 back squat immediately after, and then I did 185 front squat, oh, so, so I did 135 front squat then 135 back squat as a warm up, no break in between. And I took a short break and I did uh, 185 front squat, 185 back squat right after, which is why the reps are a little bit lower because I did them without any breaks. So because we were low on time and we were also just you know that was something I wanted to try just to get like a better pump or whatever. Uh, so that's what we did and it was it was hard. Kent warmed up with uh, 95 pounds, and he he banged that out a couple times. Uh, he didn't want me recording him at first, but um, here it is, guys. And uh, yeah, in the future, just keep. Hopefully, in our next leg video, you guys will see some progress from both of us. Also, in case you guys are wondering about why I mix it up with the front squat and the back squat. Um, well, for one, I'm just trying to get my front squat up because front squat is more challenging. Um, but also because um, front squat just targets different muscles a little bit differently. Like, um, one person told me that uh, front squat is like 60% quads and 40% butt and hamstrings, whereas back squat is like the other way. And I mean, there's also multiple variations of back squats depending on how high you put the bar on your back affects how high, how much you bend over, which affects which you, which targets your core in a little bit different ways, and how much is how much you're pushing with your butt and how much you're pushing with your hamstrings and quads. But you know, just for overall um, leg development, um, I recommend doing both front squats and back squats. Then I went to 225 after a short break and did, uh, did 10 reps. I'm really trying to get um, my squat back up. Uh, last year I got it up to 365, but I know my form was not as good, so definitely this time around I'm focusing more on getting parallel, um, getting my uh, legs parallel or lower, um, getting lower. And Kent, fairly new to squatting, but his form is pretty good. Okay. Yeah, bang it. So in a moment here, I'm going to do 315, and I'm a little disappointed with my squats right now, because obviously I could, I used to be able to do this for like, 10 reps, but 
I need to get my work on my squad again, so. And as you can see, like, especially on my third rep, I, I don't get very low, but it's all right. <laughs> it's um, getting parallel is important for squad form. Also important for protecting your knees and your joints, because when you don't go all the way down, it just like puts this extra pressure and tension on the connective tissue on your knees and stuff that you don't need and you definitely don't want to damage that so squat with good form also focus on getting your butt really low to the ground um, so immediately after squats we did some lunges um, with the barbell we did like <clears throat> a couple sets with no breaks in between um, because we were low on time, and we just stuck with, you know, this weight, well, yeah, can actually didn't do any, but that's what I did. And immediately after that, we did some leg curls machine, leg, leg curl machine. just isolating the hamstrings and after that leg extensions focusing on the quadriceps the front part of the thighs um, also going back to the lunges the lunges lunges are very good at developing that that teardrop which is like that 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 muscle that kind of sticks out on out like above your knee to the side um, you just look up on the internet like quadricep teardrop like um it like it really like helps bring that out and define that i've noticed so <clears throat> you want your quads to just like look more muscular for right above your knee um do more lunges so leg extension also helps too um last exercise we did was um straight leg deadlifts I really like these um, I feel like they're very helpful very effective these will also help your deadlift um, and they really isolate the, the hamstrings as well as also you'll definitely feel it in your lower back um, just keep your core tight as you go down <clears throat> bring the weights basically to your feet you don't have to don't put them on the ground just keep the tension. Oh, walking back from the gym. Yo, vlogs. You're supposed to do your face. Okay, it's too dark. Hey, let me t let me show you. Hey, show them the quad. Hey, what? Show them the quad. Hi, uh, you guys want to see the quad? There's not much going on. <laughs> My hair is so long. I need a haircut. <laughs> what are we filming? Uh, I don't know. We're walking back. I'm actually gonna film this whole thing. Uh, we're locked out. Oh, uh, we're locked out. It's red. Turn off, dude. Can you come get the door? Hey, that's hey, my man over there. He'll steal some man. Yeah, hey, I'll cover it. Protect his identity. Thank you. Thanks, man. Protect his identity. From identity theft. Okay, come here. <laughs> That's so weird. Vlogging, let's go. <laughs> hey, you hold it. This is the, hold it. This is the apartment. Whoa, oh, don't, shoot. Don't, well, hey, don't show them the address. <laughs> why not? Why not? What they don't know the address. Is? There's no address on our house. Oh, okay, then hit us up at E6. <laughs> show them the E6, dude. You'll find us at E6. Einhorn and Institute. <laughs> Are you still recording? Yeah, welcome to the kitchen, everyone. This is the kitchen. Standard stove. <sighs> you gotta wash your hands. Are you recording stuff? Yeah. Oh, like. Yeah. You gotta wash your hands after you work out because those bars are nasty. Woo! It's hot, hot. Hey. Looking at the protein stash.
Yeah. Uh, okay, wait. That's creatine. Um, we, we got, got... We got this. You know that's what empty. it is. Yep. We got the carnivore. Yep. Hey. Way. Classic. Must have. Swallow up by the... That's casein. Casein. What's casein do again? Explain um, to them. Oh, well, yeah. We, we're going to have a video about that soon. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. What's this red one? Lots of beef. Kind of, I only take beef, beef protein. protein now. Tell them why. Um, okay. I only take beef protein because whey protein makes another me, one. That's a mass gainer. Um, it's oh, got a bunch of carbs in it. Whey protein doesn't spawn well with me. It makes me get like acne really bad. So when I stopped taking whey protein, started taking beef protein, all my acne went away for the most part. I mean, except for like little ones, but I'd get like really intense acne. Word. Got one more. And uh, yeah, I thought this was Great. vegan protein, but yep. I was dumb and didn't read it. I mean, it's got a lot of vegetables and stuff in it, but it's got whey in it too. Yeah, so. But it's got full serving of fruits and vegetables. It's pretty. It's pretty nice stuff though. So Izzy can't take this because it's whey. Yeah, you guys gotta start buying your own protein. <clears throat> this is free though. I buy my own. <laughs> oh, we got some pop tarts. Hey, you know I got pop tarts. What happened to them? Yo, I got peanut butter pop tarts. Where they at though? Oh, we got the Goya. Yo, do you see the peanut, peanut butter black beans? Someone stole my peanut butter pop tarts, maybe, or maybe I just put them somewhere and oh, here they are. Oh, there's my peanut butter pop tarts. All right, those are worth it. Don't get, don't eat pop tarts. They're bad for you unless you have peanut butter pop tarts. Then it's okay. Maybe. Who's that? Hey, Everett. That's Everett. <laughs> <laughs> that'll, that'll be the thumbnail. <laughs> what else do we have in here? I think we'll just make a post-workout meal, and that'll be the end of the video. Alright guys, uh, we're gonna make a post-workout meal. I'm gonna get some, use some of this uh, spring mix. Uh, can of tuna. Which is uh, 26 grams of protein. In the whole can. Yeah, 13 grams of protein. Oh, right there. It's not focusing. 13 grams of protein. Two servings. 26 grams of protein. So we'll have that together in this bowl. We also got two eggs coming up. Two boiled eggs. So that'll be a total of 26 plus 12 is 38 grams of protein and I mean it's really not many macros in this also got this here for the micronutrients also got some Italian dressing so that's the Italian um, this salad without the dressing has got only two grams of fat zero carbs with the me adding the dressing, the serving size is about two tablespoons. That's a decent amount, but I might add that much because I really don't like the taste of tuna. Um, so, if I add about that, then I'm adding an additional four and a half grams of fat.